The Roper Center Transparency Project aims to increase disclosure about how polls are conducted. Transparency is not a guarantee of quality. However, transparency allows users to make informed judgments about data, which is why best practices in polling call for a high level of disclosure. There are certain disclosure elements which Roper considers most important. These are the core elements in our scoring system. In this video, I'll provide an overview of these core elements. The first group of elements are organizational. They describe who designed, funded, or fielded a poll. Knowing who is responsible for a poll can help you understand why that poll was conducted. And knowing who fielded a poll can help you be on the lookout for house effects, that is, differences in the practices of different organizations that can affect the data. For example, if interviewers are trained to accept a don't know response readily, that organization's polls will show a higher don't know result than another organization that trains interviewers to encourage respondents to select responses from the given options, even if the questions are in other ways identical. For some topics, polling can be very responsive to emerging events. Therefore, the exact dates of a poll are important to know. Just a few days difference in field dates can make a big difference in poll results. The universe and geographic coverage tell you what population the poll is trying to represent. That could be adults in France, women in Texas, or likely voters in a particular U.S. congressional district. No sample is perfect. Justification for representativeness indicates why the polling organization believes that their sample is representative of the target population. In the case of probability-based polls, like random digit dial telephone polls, representativeness is based on probability, that is, random selection. In the case of non-probability polls, the justification may be based on the weighting schemes applied to the sample. The sampling information tells researchers how many respondents were in the poll and how they were selected. Often, respondent selection takes place in multiple stages. Roper asks for a summary and a respondent stage selection. The mode describes the way the survey was conducted. The most common methods are by phone, online, by mail, or in person. But pollsters are always looking for new ways to reach respondents, like text messaging or even gaming systems. If a poll utilizes one of these novel approaches, Roper requires a description to help users understand the method. Mode differences can have an effect on polling results. For example, some respondents may be uncomfortable giving answers to questions about sensitive topics with an in-person interviewer. Weighting is an important tool pollsters use to increase accuracy of polls. That is, they use a reliable source of information on demographics, like the census, and match their sample data to that data. Although weighting is important for all pollsters, it's particularly important for those who are not using a probability method to select their sample. The Roper Center asks data providers to give quite detailed information about weighting, including which demographic variables were used in weighting and what resource was used to set the benchmarks. The response rate indicates what proportion of those the poll tried to contact actually completed the survey. For probability samples, the American Association for Public Opinion Research has set standards on how to calculate this rate. Roper asks data organizations to provide either the response rate or the information required to calculate it to those standards. There is no set standard for calculating a completion rate for non-probability polls. Completion or participation rates for non-probability polls need to be provided along with an explanation of how these were calculated. Finally, you can't overestimate the importance of question wording. 
but polling results can be affected not just by the wording of the questions and response categories, Results can also be affected by introductory language or visual aids if a poll is conducted online or in person. So the Roper Center asks for full question wording with all instructions and prompts. For more on Roper Center's Transparency Project, please see our website.